Greetings, everyone, and welcome to One Success Mindset here at The Shiners Podcast on YouTube. I'm Dr. Darina Shine, and I welcome you, and I thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, Tonight, I want to talk about the difference between independence and codependency. Um, There's a lot of downloads coming to the planet right now. Um, there's a new energy being brought here to the planet to help with the exposure of those individuals. You know, you think about the time when the exposures happened in Hollywood, then exposures happened in the political arena, then exposures happened in high elite spots inside the areas of Catholicism inside the sex of uh, um, education with the teachers being exposed. We got so much exposure. People are getting exposed for the demonic things that they're doing and how they're entrapping people and energy and keeping them at a low vibrational area. Attorneys judges exposed exposure lights camera action and guess what shiners let me tell you something have no fear because imagine the exposed being watched by others who already believed but they just couldn't tap into it. That's the energy we're working with for 2024. And Shiners, guess what? No one is exempt. Not a doctor, not a lawyer, not an educator, not a, um, a, 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 a spiritualist, not a, a um, person with a, a, a crystalist, not even a child that's doing things that need to be exposed. It's just that time. There's a new energy flowing through the planet. And I got this download and I was like, okay, spirit, how do I get this to the collective? How do I give this to the masses? How do I help them recognize? And God said, expose what is going on in your life on a day-to-day basis. Expose what is going on in your own personal life. Because if you do that, then their people are going to be able to collaborate with you and say, dang, I'm going through that too, but it's not like this, but it's like this. You know what I mean? Parents getting exposed for lying, telling people that their children were taken from them legally and the court system allowed people to randomly pull their children into a legal battlefield. That ain't true because if you think about it, there's something that has been done or not done to the point where anyone who is trying to fight for the rights of someone to protect them, I'm not talking about the narcissist. I'm talking about the shiners now. Any shiner who is trying to help to step in to help alleviate a little bit of pain from the choices that were made by other people. What's happening is we're being exposed to that degree as well because there is some karmic vibration that needs to happen for people to learn their ultimate lesson. Because in that karmic transfer, there are some lessons that need to be tapped into. So people are going to be connected to other people just so they can say that we've exposed you to this lifestyle. We've, we've, we've allowed you to see the other side of life. Man, exposing, exposing the doctors, the lawyers, the uh, intellectuals, all the people who are at the top, 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 the primary primaries, the elite, 
And what's so sad about it is they don't believe that they have karmic penalties. They believe that they're sovereign. Well, guess what? It's your time. It's your time. <laughs> you know, judge, least ye be judged. Judge. And here's the thing. Some people may have attorneys playing the mind game to try to incarcerate them, to make them not share and expose this information. Some people may be laced to stop them from exposing what is going on, what is taking place. But I'm telling you, pay attention. Every step you take, every move you make, someone's watching you. And it may not be you, per se, shiners. It may be God may just lay it on the hands of someone who has the, uh, the appointment to know the assignment. Do you understand what I'm saying? The appointment to know the assignment. So they don't even know why they're there. But yet they can see things beyond. And before you know it, you think you're going, some, some people may be thinking that they're about to lose their children. They may think that they're about to lose their job. They may think they're about to get that bad health report only to come in and somebody say, oops, that's not true. That's not true because I have facts. I have proof. And even this, even the criminal justice system has deflected so many overstretching opportunities for people. Some people will get out of trouble. Some people will have to serve time. Some people will serve double the time. Some people will serve extra time. And I always ask the question, when you look at independence versus codependency, why can't we all universally have a set time for every crime, every situation, to whereas there is no type of leverage to it? It just is what it is. If you do this crime, it's this time. If you do that crime, it's that time. And that's what it is. No matter how much money you have, no matter who you, who, who you belong to. If that took place, do you know how many people will serve their time and learn their lesson? And that's when we can truly rehabilitate a community, a society, because people will understand that the criminal justice system is not playing, period. So it goes back to that codependency. When you can buy your way into an assignment, and get paid for it. Trust. I've had clients tell me that they've literally gotten paid for stalking people. They have literally gotten paid by high officials to do things to other people, to make them think that they're insane. To make them, and this is what the narcissistic plan is, but I'm sure this is no secret. I'm sure many of you already understand that. Stay inside of your sanity. Mm hmm. And so, what? Exposure is exposure. If I'm, listen, listen, shiners, be ye not afraid care about nothing. You will have the longest life. You will have the most peaceful life. You will be known to be that peacemaker. When you sit back and you say, no, nah, I'm not going to turn the other cheek. Don't bother me. I won't bother you. <laughs> it's just that easy because I know the assignment. I know the assignment. It took me a while. It took me some time. I got it right. But it goes back to knowing who is on your team, 
who is working on your team phenomenally to make sure that things are correct and decent and in order. And even when the devil tries to put the details the way that they want, hmm, somebody was watching them in the back bushes that they didn't know. And they don't know. And they can't pay. Because guess what? They don't know. <laughs> That's the beauty. You know how it says that God sits high and looks low? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shiners, guess what? God can be flying in his helicopter just making sure we're safe. They can just be watching. Big Brother can be watching from the sky. Big Brother can be watching, you know, running to a um, some siren <laughs> can be Man, there's so many things that could be that God got going on in this world right now. And the collective is getting getting real true downloads on what to do. But we ain't got to be on that devil side. We ain't got to be over there in order to get the assignment. We could be posted up somewhere and we'd be like, God, why you want me to go there? Just so you can be the one that gets the assignment just to test to see if you on the good side. Now you done saved some patsy, some mental health person from having to serve time that they didn't even commit a crime on. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is beautiful. The universe has now brought to this planet true exposure 2024. So y'all better get your houses in order. You better get your houses in order. Because me, myself, I didn't see how it's going to go down. I already know how it's going down. Touch not my anointed. And do my profits, no harm at all. But y'all been doing major harm. Lacing people. Drugging people up. Yeah, shiners, it's time for them to be, these narcissists to be exposed, right? That's why when people come at you, the way they come at you, pay attention. Don't let them get too close. Because they're going to show you who they are when they walk through the door. But they don't know what you know. They don't know what you know. Yeah, they don't know what you know. And you could have been took them out. You could have been took that narcissist out. You see what I'm saying? But they don't even know. I'm telling you, man, 2024 is going to be a good year. I can't wait to sit back and see what's exposed. Who's exposed and how they get out of the trouble and how they how they empower others after the journey. I can't wait. It's going to be a whole new assignment. We're going to see it now for the codependents. For those who are codependent, staying in relationships, feeling that you are a victim. There is consequences to every action even if it's an equal and opposite reaction. So be mindful of that because that is the other devil's ploy, the other devil's perspective that takes place. Now you're a victim and you only defended yourself, but the reality of it is by the time everything turns in its exposure, you should have knew your assignment. And we can't constantly run from our destiny. We got to be on it. We got to be on point. We got to move with the move with the discernment of what we know to be right. And if we're just halfway right, 
It's going to, we're, we're going to be okay. Look at Joseph. Joseph was a murderer, right? But by the time he realized what he had done to the least of the most high's children, he dealt with some other stuff too. He was awakened as well. He went through a lot of the highs and lows of the narcissistic mentality. Read those books, read those stories, because they're very prominent in the assignment of what the narcissist, what the manipulator, what the controller has to do in this world. We got to know the assignment, shiners. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that mean, man? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that mean? She got her own house. She got her own car. Work hard. Two jobs. You a bad broad. If you ain't on, sit down. If you ain't on, sit down. Now, if you're going to get that money because it's payday, and you're going to lay it down and you're going to make it work and you're going to twerk it, make it right. Take that money just to get that bag. You ain't on. Sit down. You codependent. You are totally codependent. You can't pay your own bills. You can't rock in the shoes you're walking in. But you can. You can. Why do we have to sit back and take abuse just to feel like we get a we get a a light bill paid or a gas bill paid? Hell, if push come to shove, just go, you know, get public assistance. Unless we'd have messed that up, immunity. Immunity on some things that didn't even make sense. Knew it was a lie, but got immunity. Section 8 housing. How can a system do that? Exposure time. Exposed. Mm-mm-mm. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. 2006. Yeah. Mike Jones. <laughs> yeah. Shiners. It's just that time. God is exposing it all. And it's right there in our faces. We don't have to be afraid. Be not afraid of the arrows by day or the hands of my enemy. I will stand my ground with the universe on my side. From the snares and the traps, they will not succeed. No, no weapon, no weapon. And still, I rise never to give up, never to give in against all odds. Yet still, I rise high above the clouds. At times, I feel low. Yet still I rise above all my problems, above all my eyes can see. Yeah, there's so much to it. You're about to be exposed, no matter how high 
or how low you are in the professional industry. If you are doing people wrong, if you are manipulating, if you are narcissistically controlling just because I'm pissed, she don't, I don't want to hear what she got to say. Cut her off. That is being returned to sender. At first, I thought, Shiners, at first I thought, allow the universe to take it and nurture it and heal it and support me and give it back to me in abundance. That's already going to happen. But those narcissists that continue to try to tap in to destroy and devour the things that we love on this planet, that they have no right to touch, they're about to be exposed and they're going to have consequences to the behavior. So independence versus codependency. There is a lot to that. When you're codependent, you'll do anything. You're like just devastated. Just let me do anything. Just give me this. Just give me that. Even those that get the highest high from a drug, a, a man-made chemical, they're not going to be able to escape the reality. They're going to see it for themselves. And that high is going to always be chased. And they're going to waste their money forever, forever trying to chase that high that they'll never get, never, 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 ever, ever get again. They'll never get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never get it. <laughs> yeah. And they're constantly buying into something that will never give them rest. They'll never get the rest that they deserve. That, that, that they deserve because they're not deservant. This is their karmic consequence. And it's isolating them. And it's, in, it's incarcerating their mind to where they can't even escape. They just got to sit there in turm turmoil. That's why hell or heaven is right here on earth. You can have that heaven if you do just halfway right. But if you get, if you already in hell, every next step you take is going to be the gnashing of teeth. You're not going to be able to withstand the pain and the torture that is going to happen in this 2024 exposure. I'm telling you, the spirit has discerned to me that these this force has come to the planet and this force is going to be a reckoning. It's going to be reckoned. All this dark energy that y'all keep conjuring up and playing with is about to now be unleashed on your ass. Shiners keep shining. Keep doing the next right thing. It's not too many. But it is very, very more people than we ever could imagine. It's millions and millions of empaths, millions and millions of those enlightened beings, those earth angels, those people who are standing in the way of exposure and truth. They're watching it go down. They're recording it. They have cameras. I'm telling you, artificial intelligence is what's going to help those enlightened ones get the message to the masses. Recovery. Recovery feels so good. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. You do what you want to do because only you know what you need to do. 
but recovery is beautiful. It's powerful. And let me tell you, for those who recognize what I'm saying right now, keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in. Don't even say nothing. Just keep it moving. And just know you are highly protected. Know that those enemies and 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 weapons of, of destruction that is trying to, to turn you into a schizophrenic individual or paranoid individual or bipolar in, individual or dark soul, you in that you in that process, but here's the catch. The healing is going to take place. And as soon as the healing takes place, hundreds and thousands of angels will encamp around you, protecting you, stopping you from going here to be put in a chaotic, destructive situation amongst a bunch of liars that can sit back and negotiate with each other the downfall of what they're going to say happen because their stories will never match. It'll never link up. It'll never put you in the place, in the position. Just keep moving forward. And you can go through their entire system and not be touched. Exposure time. From the highest of the high to the lowest of the low. Everyone is going to get exposed for the things that they're doing. And this is just the download that came. So if you're independent, continue to stay independent. If you're codependent, don't bother those who are walking a different path than you. Don't manipulate just because now you recognize somebody is doing something different than you and you got all kind of, oh man, I got to catch up to that. I could have done that. I know because that's what happened when I woke up. I was like, damn, I'm not the only, I could have done that. That could have been me. But the only difference was I'm not taking anything because I know that karma is real and it's knocking on everybody's front door. And if it don't, if you don't let it in, it's coming in. So, so, so basically, yeah. I wasn't trying to take it, though. I was just, like, in amazement. I was very, very inspired. I was impressed. And I was just like, wow, I got to get up and I got to do something with my life. Let me go see what I can do. Just let me go see. And before you know it, one good thing after another, after another. And it kept going on and on. On and on and on and on. It kept going. It keep going. And it don't stop. That's why I can't look back. The devil ain't got nothing for me. Addiction ain't got nothing for me. Nothing. Some nasty ass watered down food. A broke ass little cot. Psychological manipulation. Trying to stand among a bunch of demons and you can't. It's so much better to be free and freedom is priceless. I don't play with it. It is the most expensive thing this world could ever imagine. It's, it's more expensive than food. Freedom is more expensive than food. Shiners. And anyone who has been behind bars understand that. Anyone who has tried to fight for their lives and realize that this system has played them and, and, and made them look, exposed them in a fraudulent way. Not in the right, correct way that the Most High is about to do. That's why I don't play with my freedom. Can't nobody tell me that... I need to go into an institutionalized perspective to help someone who ain't trying to be helped. Mm -mm. My life is so much worth more than that. So much more than that. 
So, Shiners, I need you to pay attention to the things that I'm saying to you. I may sound delusional. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I know what I'm talking about. Somebody just uh, posted something on TikTok that said, ancestors are not real. Okay. That's your point of view. Because you don't rock with the ancestors. So it wouldn't work for you. It's what we put ignition to. It's hot and fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> ignition. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta put that ignition to it to make it what it is. If you don't believe it, it ain't going to be. Just like some atheists don't believe that God is real. That's an individual thing. How you going to tell me something that I should know that's from an independent point of view? You can't tell me that. And I knew it was a test because I had just called on a couple of my ancestors, and I told them, I said, I need you to help me with something, y'all. I, I need you to help me. Because I'm going up against some, some, you know, higher vibrational, you know, principalities, whatever. And as I called upon it, that's when I looked and I seen that. That's nothing more than, than the fraudulent ways of trying to Expose something that is an illusion. It's what it is you want it to be. Nothing more, nothing less. Telling you, man, shiners, keep doing your thing. Your supervisor that keep messing with you, they about to be exposed, man. Something going to happen. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to worry about it. Just keep going to work. Keep doing you. Before you know it, they're going to be in court on some other bull crap, on something else. And you're going to be like, whoa. They never even get touched for what you had that you was working on, that you were seeing them try to get away with. And they kept on and kept on. Exposure to the hundredth degree. That's why it's just best to do right. Or at least halfway try. Because I'm telling you, God sits high and looks low. I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. And everything we done done on this earth, we're going to have some karmic debt to pay. And it's not through currency the way we know it. Money, mm -mm. you'll never be able to, to pay your karmic debt with money. That karmic debt is going to have to be paid from the spiritual entities that vibe on this planet. And what it needs, it's going to get from you. Because you used your energy in a very promiscuous way. And I'm not talking sexual. Promiscuous, just, just doing whatever with whoever. Conjuring up stuff on other people. That ain't how it goes. So you think about that. Shiners, keep shining. Keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in. Keep trying to do the next right thing and let these fleeting enemies in energies understand that there's somebody higher than them that got more money than them that's watching everything that they do to the masses, the innocent, the 85%. They're about to be exposed. Be consistent. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for walking in the shoes you're walking in because you're an inspiration to everyone. Keep going. And remember the difference between independence and codependency. You can always be bought codependently. Be independent. Peace.